I've come in here. Yes. Добрий день. Ми в Національному парку Джаспер на відслоненні меморіальної дошки пам'яті інтернованих тут українців та людей іншої національності. Вони були інтерновані канадським урядом за те, що вони, мовляв, були чужинцями ворожими. Їхній одинокий злочин полягав у тому, що вони були громадянами, і то не зі своєї волі конче, а Остро-Угорщини, з якою воювала тоді Британська імперія. Добрий день всім. Я називаюся Тарас Подільський, я є представник організації Ukrainian Canadian Civil Liberties Association за Бонтону. Я сьогодні буду ваш господар. I welcome all to Jasper National Park for today's unveiling of the commemorative plaque for the 268 internees that were held in an internment camp not far from this spot, just right by the bridge that most of you crossed to get here. I would like to start the program by having a representative of Parks Canada, who are very cooperative with us in our initiative to put a plaque up here in Jasper, and the representative of Parks Canada is Gary Pollock. Good afternoon. It's my sincere privilege and honor to welcome each and every one of you to Jasper National Park. Uh, we all can work wonders. We, we cleared the uh, clouds away early this morning and got this wonderful sunshine for today's ceremony. Um, please take a moment to remember the uh, historic event that we're, we're about to share today and take a moment to share the history that all of us Canadians share in this great nation. Part of this great nation is Jasper, Jasper National Park and uh, it's my privilege on behalf of the staff of Jasper National Park to sincerely welcome each and every one of you. Thank you being in constant communication with the government in trying to progress this issue further. Walter Doskoch will ask you with the Ukraine Canadian Civil Liberties representative from Calgary, Boris Sidoruk, to unveil today's plaque. unveiling, I think it's very appropriate that we give, we ask Mr. Walter Doskoch to share a few of his thoughts on this issue. Fellow Canadians, fellow Ukrainians, fellow members, <coughs> this includes the ladies. We're all members of the human race. And the Slavic people who came from Galicia, that little western province that was annexed 150 years prior to the First World War, sent many of its favorite sons to Canada to build a nation. My dad was one of them. There was three brothers, but my dad was honored by uh, Mr. Borden and he was interned. He was interned in the summer of 1915, where he left the mines at Vancouver Island because they were treacherous. They were killing more people than anybody else in North America as a mine, and was starting to move eastward. And on his way, he got picked up and interned in Morrissey, British Columbia. That was in 1915. He joined the committee there, the camp committee. Treated very shabbily. They were called bongs and many other choice words. And they were whipped a little bit with the back end of a butt of a rifle. I think they saw the dentist once in four years, a doctor I think once or twice, 
but five years of a young man's life was gone. This went on 28 camps. There was many reasons for it. But we were always accused of being enemy aliens. How the hell can you be a Canadian and an enemy alien when you come here to build? 45 million Slavic people fought with the British, fought with the Americans, fought against, Yankee, against the uh, German militarism and expansionism, and yet we are called aliens? Not one was charged, charged with nothing, but locked up. And this kind of treatment is very shabby. And we feel that we're entitled to an apology. We're entitled that every Canadian citizen should know that we are not second-class citizens and we didn't come from the moon and we come from this Mother Earth here called this planet. So, I want to thank the association that has sponsored this. And I thank everybody for coming out. And I'd like the message to get across that Canadians and Ukrainians in Canada are not cheaters. We don't chisel. We came here to build and we're entitled to an apology, and we are entitled to have our children and everybody else's at this mosaic of Canada to understand that we are part and parcel of Canada, and we're number one sons and daughters. Thank you. From Calgary, Mr. Boris Sidorov was instrumental in setting up the plaques in Banff, and also uh, put in a lot of time in helping get this one installed in Jasper National Park. So on behalf of the Ukraine Canadian Civil Liberties Association, I introduce to you Boris Sudaruk with Skalgari. This plaque we stand in front of today recalls those that were interned at Jasper between February 8th and August 31st, 1916, where they were forced to do heavy labor. During the Canadian federal election in 1993, Jean Chrétien was asked by Ukrainian News in Edmonton, and I'll quote, were they in support of an early resolution by the Canadian government in settling the Ukrainian-Canadian acknowledgement and redress issue? Jean Chrétien responded, he was still in opposition. Liberals understand the complexity and significance of these issues, and should we form the next government, we will be prepared to work with, Ukrainian, with the Ukrainian-Canadian community to find solutions. This hasn't happened. We again call upon the Honorable Jean Chrétien, now Prime Minister of Canada, to honor his promises. We're still waiting for that. Our community feels that it is essential that these internment operations and the other discriminatory measures taken against the organized Ukrainian-Canadian community be remembered as the injustice, injustices that they were, so no other Canadian ethnic, religious, or racial minority ever suffers as the Ukrainian-Canadian community did. We believe that this is a matter of righting an historical wrong, and so we will continue to call upon Ottawa to acknowledge that these internment measures were unwarranted and unjust, and request the restitution of that portion of the internees' wealth that was never returned to them. Those funds, we believe, should be used to develop educational materials to better inform all Canadians about this, as yet, and a relatively unknown episode in our nation's history. We'd like to thank Park, Parks Canada for their continuing cooperation. We have re repeatedly requested, we hope Parks Canada would seriously, as we have repeatedly requested, we hope Parks Canada would seriously consider turning the tea house at the Cave and Basin site in Banff into a permanent museum dealing with Canada's first national internment operations. I am sure we will have this continuing cooperation as the Ukrainian-Canadian community continues to place historical plaques in other national parks across the country, especially in Western Canada, the heartland of the Ukrainian-Canadian community, where so many unfortunates were needlessly interned. I would like to thank Mr. Gary Pollock, 
of Parks Canada, Mrs. Celine Bolin and Mr. Rod Wallace of Jasper, Jasper National Park for the cooperation in making this unveiling a reality. From the Ukrainian Canadian Congress, I invite the head of the Edmonton branch, Olya Savarin. Slava Isus Christu, Zhevchenny Vladyko, Pane Gospodaryu, Shanovni Prisutni. On behalf of the uh, Canadian Congress Edmonton branch, uh, I would like to um, extend um, our appreciation and thank you to the organizers of this event. Uh, we came to pay tribute to our ancestors for um, doing the groundwork to put in foundations for our lives here in Canada. Um, we do hope that this portion of Canadian history, uh, which, which was not um, properly recorded uh, so far, will be uh, put in the textbooks of our children so that they learn properly about um, the, the, what uh, was done in Canada and um, that the wrongs that were done to these people will be rightened uh, accordingly. I now ask to the dedication, the dedication, the dedication and panachide, panachide for all those who now уже від, від цього світ, світу від, відійшли, що були в цих таборах. Попрошу а, провадити цей молебень а, архієпископа Івана і отця Богдана Бодмера. Святий Боже, святий крики, що ми безсмертні помилуй нас. Святий Боже, святий крики, що ми безсмертні помилуй Розмішляй над всіми ділами твоїми, над учинками рук твоїх розважаю я. Цей пам'ятник окрупний цей усвячник до імені Отця і Сина Сто Духа Мін. Благословляйте усвячник цей пам'ятник окрупний цей усвячник до імені Отця і Сина Сто Духа Мін. Благословляйте усвячник цей пам'ятник оцей усвячник до імені Отця і Сина Сто Духа Мін. Об Господь Бог усилив душу і їх на праведні спочиваю.
dignitaries, brothers and sisters in Christ, we have gathered here today to commemorate those that have been interned, but also it is a reminder to all of us that there could be certain injustices created by mankind because of our frailty, because of rash, sudden decisions, Sometimes we can create all kinds of injustices that can be imposed on those that are not to blame or the innocent. And may this gathering today, as well as the blessing of the plaque, that every time you come here with annual gathering like this, may it also remind the government that they have done wrong, but as we prayed in the uh, Molabin today, that they should never be take or reoccur or take place again in the future history of Canada. And so we beseech the Lord that he should always guard us, protect us from all kind of things that may not be righteous to mankind. With the uh, uh, Requiem services, we got closer to those that were, were offered as offering for a better future and a better government. And may the Lord give that eternal rest and he, uh, also award them with his heavenly gift. This we ask in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christus. With me there are three gentlemen from the uh, Jasper National Park. And if you gentlemen don't mind introducing yourself, please. My name is Gary Pollock. I'm the manager of client services here in Jasper National Park. Thank you. My name is Rod Wallace. I'm the cultural resource officer in Jasper National Park. I'm Lawrence Berenick and I'm a park warden in Jasper National Park. Thank you. Uh, I have three questions and if you don't mind answering those. Uh, when did you first hear about the, the camps? The internment camps um, came to my knowledge about 45 years ago growing up in Saskatchewan in a Slavic community. Right. Uh, when you first time heard about those camps, what were your feelings, sir? I was actually quite shocked, amazed and somewhat uh, dumbfounded because I only learned about a year ago uh, by watching a, a a documentary on TV. Uh, I've been in the park 23 years up in, in this park, uh, 23 years up until that point in time, and I was aware of all the other German prisoner war camps, the Japanese internment camps, but not this camp that had a bunch of Ukrainians, people of my own nationality. That's right. Uh, now the plaque is in its place, what are your feelings now? Uh, I think it's going to help uh, promote a better understanding of, of park history and, and what happened here. Uh, give park visitors and local residents uh, an, a better understanding and idea of, of what happened uh, in the park. Right. Well, thanks for your time, gentlemen. Thank you. For the Echoes of Ukraine, that was Zeri Polyansky. <laughs> Yeah.